Hey, Mike here. So today we're just going to go over something really simple, title generation. So let me show you what it is, how it works, right? And then I'll show you how to uh, get it and how to get it working. And boom, that is my hotkey for it. Command shift T. And what happens is, as you saw right there, it turned my title from um, Untitled 4 into this specific title. You're just going to head over to the System Sculpt website. You're going to get the Obsidian plugin, of course, if you don't have it already. So you're just going to click this. It's a free download, of course. You open up the plugin page and it, you know, opens it up right away in your Obsidian window, which is really nice. And then, of course, I have it installed, but you are going to install it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to head into options. And then the first thing that you're going to need is to either get an API key, if you don't have one, from here. Um, either via a premium option, right? Or you can add in, if you already have existing API keys that you want to utilize, OpenAI, OpenRouter, uh, if you have maybe a local model, right? Those all work, Olama, LM Studio. And yeah, you get to choose. I personally obviously use System Sculpt models. Um, I always update them every week. I mean, nowadays it's, it feels like it's almost every day I'm updating them because new models are coming out. But uh, yeah, I'm always trying to keep the list up to date and keeping the best models up. But um, yeah, title generation, it's a tab, you hop into it. And uh, if you click edit prompt, you can see in here, the default is the precise prompt. But you also get to see kind of, it's I like to give like a rough idea of what is possible in terms of presets, right? And then you could take that kind of inspiration from the preset. This one's a funny one. It's movie style, right? So let's let's test this out. Actually, I, I selected movie style. Now I'm going to run the um, hotkey again, Command Shift T. That's what I have it binded to. You can bind your own hotkeys, of course. And this one is called Chromatic Code, the System Sculpt Spectrum. Interesting title, very cool. But yeah, you get the idea. It's a, obviously a little bit of a gimmick, but maybe you like uh, very interestingly descriptive uh, titles, right? But in my case, I like precise. And then of course, you can also do from file, which this allows you to add in or use any um, system prompt that you may already have situated for this. You can also create a new one. But anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to make sure that it is selected on precise. And let's actually see what happens if I don't have automatic title generation turned on. Oh, one more thing before I get out of the settings here you also are able to select a specific model for title generation. So you may want to use a specific model for your chats, which obviously you you can do that within the chat tab uh, under, where is it? Yeah, default chat presets. And um, in the title generation model, or in the title generation tab, you can uh, now see when you select model, all the models, right? Of course, again, right now I only uh, have System Sculpt connected to this particular vault. But if you had OpenAI or Open Router or any other ones, they would show up in this list, right? So we're just going to use, let's see, GPT 4.1 Mini. I love it. It's really fast and it's really, really high quality. So um, yeah, I have that selected. And now again, automatic title generation is turned off. So now if I press Command Shift T, again, something that you would have to bind in your uh, settings. Now I get this little pop-up and I can either quickly edit the, if I know already right off the top of my head, what I want to name the note, I can just name it right here, or I can further click again, command G, right? And it will generate that title for me. And I can pretty much just keep generating until I find one that I like, right? So, okay, system sculpt brand color palette. Okay, let's try again. Let's try something else. Let's see. The next recommendation is System Sculpt uh, Essential Color Palette. Cool. Yeah, I like it. So we're going to save that. And there it is. It edits the title. And that's it. It's done. So we went from, again, uh, a random title, right? Let's say that it's, um, let's be a little bit more realistic here. Let's name this Untitled 5, right? That's usually what people's notes are. Or maybe it's a timestamp, right? Um, you just do the title, uh, key bind, generate it, and... Boom, there it is. Okay, cool. And I save it. And there's the title. The note has changed. Um, again, I'll hop into the settings. You can go into your hotkeys in the little options sidebar here. And you can type in title, just the word title, and it'll pop up. And there I have it set, like I said, to command shift T. So that's about it. I just wanted to show this off. Let me know though. Um, this is something not necessarily a new new feature, but something I've been, you know, tinkering with. 
And I just, I'm really trying to figure out, is there anything I'm missing? What would you like to see in terms of betterment when it comes to, oh, by the way, this also works in um, regular chat views, right? So if you have a chat session that you're talking, you know, to back and forth, um, you know, system scope chat view, um, where are we? Here we go. Yeah. So if, if you're in this and you're talking back and forth and you want to name the chat, then you can do so. Same thing, same hotkey, same everything, um, same modal. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments um, or email me. I, I read every email. Let me know what do you think I should, you know, modify, add, simplify maybe regarding uh, title generation. Let me know. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next video.